Hey guys, Gwen here with the GC Realty Group at Intero Burlingame. Whether you're a would-be home buyer or home seller, you have to hear what's happening with the real estate market here in San Mateo for single family homes. The median sales price showed a 3% decrease from $1,990,000 in April to $1,928,000 in May. There's been a drop in the number of listings available in the market this month compared to the previous year. Now the average price per square foot has experienced a decline as well from $1,399 just from a year ago to $1,240 in May. 50 new listings came on the market in May and 39 homes that sold, which is up by 34% from 29 sales the month before. Now the median sales price showed a slight decrease of 3% from $1,990,000 in April to $1,928,000 in May. Median days on market dropped to seven days from 14 days in April. On average, sellers in San Mateo received 107% of their asking price in May compared to 101% in April. Now the combination of the median sales price and the lower price per square foot decrease along with the drop in median days on market seem to be conflicting indicators. It's not clear cut, but with the fewer listings that came on the market and the fewer closed sales, the values remain stable just because of the lack of inventory. Even though the rates are still higher than our 12-month average, we simply have more buyers than there are sellers. When you get a drastic increase in mortgage rates, you will typically see a slowdown as the buyer's affordability is affected. In the Bay Area, where demand has been greater than supply for many years, prices continue to be stable. The doom and gloom that you hear in the news are not necessarily the case for some of our Bay Area sub-markets. We will need to see days on market go up to say 45 to 60 days as a general whole before the market starts to shift towards a buyer's market. The bank failures have had a surprisingly mild effect on the lending landscape so far. The rates have been fairly stable since the feds did their rate hikes last year and with May having the most volatility probably due to the looming debt ceiling deal that they were trying to put together. As of now, rates are hovering around 6.75%. Seems like the larger banks just got bigger because the depositors from these failed banks moved their assets to the bigger banks just for the stability. Keep in mind that not a single depositor actually lost money during these bank failures. In my opinion, that was probably done by design. Now imagine the chaos it would have had caused to the financial markets and our society if these depositors actually lost money. Our government knows better not to destabilize our perception of the banking system. We are now in the marketplace that requires strategy, some patience and knowledge if you're a seller. Affordability is affected buyers in the market. If you're a home buyer, it's important to work with a broker that understands the complexity of the market and your unique needs to help you with one of the most important purchases of your life. So if you're a would-be home seller or a home buyer entering the market, we would love the opportunity to earn your business. Reach out through the contacts below and let's connect.